Oh, okay, okay, we're being quiet. Oh, good. Okay, that, 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 <laughs> that's not why I wanted, how I wanted to start this. Um, I was gonna say, why is, why is my controller not working? Because the battery died. Oh my, okay. No, no, I bought this. This, did, this didn't happen. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Redo! Why is this game 13 years old? Hi. <laughs> Better question, why wasn't this game in Super Mario 3D All-Stars Nintendo? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, okay, this is a good start. I need to move this stuff out of the way. Uh, oh my god. A mess this is already. Alright, uh, I need to get rid of one of these. Uh, toad, I guess. So, well, yeah. Bye, Toad. <laughs> so, yeah, this, this, is, uh, this game is, like, stuck on the Wii. So, I have to use actual pointer controls, which... With my setup, it's um, not exactly the greatest. It's kind of a mess. I'm just gonna... What are these me's? I don't know. A lot of these... <laughs> I don't know what most of these are at this point. King, uh, King <laughs> <Airplane>. <laughs> Um, We did Mario last time. Who should we be? Oh my god. <coughs> Luigi, of course. Yeah, fair enough. I guess. Yeah. Wow, guys, it's Charlie Day! I can't believe it! <laughs> yes. Alright, let's get started. Because, um... Yeah, I, I don't know if I've, I've uh, talked about this much on camera before, but... Um, this is one of my favorite games of all time, so hopefully this playthrough goes well. Now, let me tell you, so, this... The Simmering star Stardust falls on, us mushroom on the Mushroom Kingdom once a century, but time had come again. I'm not reading as that voice. <laughs> nice stock render of Peach. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So this, this game, like... You can you can tell right away, like, they didn't really worry too much about the story, because it's like... You've already Stop had a... Yeah. You've already had a... <laughs> yeah. You've already had a space <laughs> adventure uh, already, like, the, the concept is, like, the same. So it's, it's... The way I see it is, like, this is more or less... The developers being like, you you get the idea. You've been here before. You know what's going on. Let's just get all of it. <laughs> yeah. Especially with this, like this is a very uh, quick way to get your spin move. Whereas in the first Galaxy, it was like it was a whole tutorial level. Yeah, it was a whole tutorial and much longer build up. Uh, he's, he's speaking in PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. This is basically. The game's story might as well be like an abridged version of the first game. Exactly, yeah, yeah that's exactly what it is. I will say this though, I do like the storybook like um, border. Like, I think that's a nice touch at least. But, like, yeah, I, I think I said it more or less in the first galaxy, but I do, you know, I, I appreciated like the backstory that Rosalina had and all that. Um, but I don't really play at least the mainline Mario platformers for, like, deep stories or backstories or anything like that. I kind of just play this series for, you know, wacky characters and, like, fun personalities and stuff. Um, if I wanted, like, deeper narratives or whatever, I'd play, like, the RPGs or other games. So I think Holy it's fine. Shit, oh it's Godzilla! Yeah. It only looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws, it's not! <laughs> Thank you. God. <laughs> yeah. Like, I... Do you know, Mario, the power of a star is already mine, and look what else I got! Gwa ha 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 ha! I'm huge! That's what she said. Even scary at close, huh? That's what she said. <laughs> Shut up, chicks. <laughs> wow. Did uh, Peach bake me something for once? I guess you go for a galaxy-sized slice of cake right now. <laughs> I'm way too huge for this puny planet. I deserve an empire that's more me size. And I'll put it in the center of the universe. Oh, right, center is spelled different in the UK. Oh, yeah. I finally yeah, do. Yep. Yeah, I yeah. I was about to say I, I saw that. I was about to say Centra. <laughs> Centra. I know it's cent it's Centra. Yeah. I know. I guess one other thing that's cool, but that the um people have brought up before, 
uh, one thing that's cool about this intro is to <laughs> jump on toes. Um, is the fact that like it starts 2D and then it go, like gr like slowly go goes into full 3D. So it's like a nice yeah. showcase of how the series evolved. Also, I was also I was thinking about doing a Jack Black voice, but I figured I'd just embarrass myself. <laughs> I probably do even worse if I try to do a uh, different voice from Mario. Voice. Yeah. Oh. oh, good. That's gonna be a problem this whole playthrough, isn't it? Awesome. They just refer to the baby Luma as Master Luma. Yes. yes. Master Luma Luma. <laughs> yeah. We Luma Luma. Time is an illusion. <laughs> yeah. I was frankly only I didn't the suit part me. I didn't think there was any hierarchy among the Lumas outside Polari kind of being Rosalina's second in command. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. I almost forgot about him. <laughs> so yeah. did Nintendo! Yeah, I mean, he's basically just a tutorial guy. So, yeah, this game. Like, I, I guess you can count this as, like, the tutorial level, but it's, this, this is pretty much this game's equivalent to, like, Good Egg Galaxy. Are you gonna. Oh my god, this is a mess. Ah, uh, 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 yes, I'm getting to insanity flashbacks. Yeah, the I need a new controller. This is ridiculous. Um, yeah, th this game doesn't really have like a gateway galaxy equivalent. It just throws you right into it, really, um, which I appreciate. Like, um, I wouldn't say like this is the like the hardest game in the world or anything, but I de overall I definitely say that the difficulty um, as a whole is. Um, quite a bit higher than the first game. I feel like it's a lot, it's, um, um, more, uh, I feel like, in general, I feel like this is the most consistently challenging 3D Mario game. Um, like, it, it, ha just like the first game, I feel like it, d it does a good, it has a good, um, overall difficulty balance, and, like, you know, things gradually get more complex as we go. Um, it's like, I don't know, I, I feel like, I feel like this game generally is a pretty good challenge without being too frustrating, which is a pretty hard balance to strive for. <laughs> um, like, just, just yeah. Just wait for the Cosmic Mario that's come up. Yeah, like, there's, there's, there's some stuff later on in the game that will test your metal, metal, but like, um, I don't think this is the kind of game where, like, it's, it gets, like, super frustrating. Um, it's just one of those things where, like, you just want to keep trying. Um... And yeah, I don't know. It, it, good stuff. <laughs> um, qu quick question. Are you gonna be 100% in this game as in, like, going for all the green stars and stuff? Yeah, this is, uh, full completion. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, uh, one yeah the, the one one thing that um we talked about a lot in the first game is that um the galaxy games like shower you with lives and uh, that's even more the case with this game um like they like <laughs> there's a, there's a reason why Odyssey just got rid of the lives entirely because you know I I I would prefer to just you know get on with it kind of thing I I appreciate them giving you a bunch of lives in this because. It stops, like, you having to waste time on game overs and stuff. Um, and it's like, yeah, I... Li lives, uh, don't really have much of a place in a lot of games nowadays. Yeah. They just, they reset your stuff every time you have those... They reset it, you... gosh darn. They reset your lives counter every time you have to, like, restart the game again, don't you? Don't they? Yep. Yep, same as the first game. I don't know why they do that. So I, every time I was in the... Every time I started this game again, I had to basically crab around the hub and get some lives. Yeah. I will say this. At the, um, this game um, at, does a, a little bit better better about that. Uh, because in the... I think very quickly you you unlock a... Like, Luma Shop stuff in your, in your hub. So you can rack up on lives... Uh, right away, which is nice. Uh, well, like when you restart your save, I mean. But 
Yeah, I still don't really understand why that's a thing in the first place. Hmm. Extending playtime. Yeah. But like I said, you get lives like candy in this game, so it's not a huge issue, it's just kind of weird. As some of you may have noticed from like, the checkpoints and the Comet medals, yeah, this, uh, I guess continue off from where, continue from where the original Galaxy left off. You can kind of see more and more of the 2D, kind of the 2D influence kind of creeping into the 3D games. Yeah, a little bit. I, yeah. I do appreciate, uh, it, uh, with this game though, because the first Galaxy had checkpoints, but it, but they were, yeah, but they were always invisible. Like, you, you, there was yeah. just like, you reached a, a like a, a certain point in a level, and if you died, you get sent there. But you never know when that's the case. So just having like the checkpoint flags and just knowing where they are now was appreciated. It actually, it actually never really occurred to me that like. The 3D, the 3D land style of gameplay kind of just started creeping its way from this point on. Mm. Yeah, because then um, again, it, ha it has been a long time since I last played this game. Right. It's basically just Dino Piranha 2.0. Nothing to really, not much to really say about this. Yep. Anyways, <laughs> you, yeah, you, you, you just gave him a spanking. Well, no, there is a cool this trick. Isn't even quite right, a villain. Yeah, there is a cool trick you can do if I can. Yeah. yeah there you go. I like that. Hmm. Yeah, this game is a lot more like focused in like the level design because in the the first game it was like still very linear, but mo, uh, but it did have its moments of like more open exploration. Um, th this game still has some of that, but a lot of it is like very focused platforming stuff, um, and I guess you, your feelings on what is better is um, like your own business. I, 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 don't know, I, I like both styles. I, I think, I think both styles can be done really well, um, but I, I think Galaxy Two does the linear approach like really well. Uh, oh, sorry. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's fat. Yeah. I sure appreciate you bringing us this power star, though. We need <laughs> as many of those as we can get. <laughs> the name's Lubba, by the way. I'm the head honcho of this Luma crew. I can't it's tell like... if you're can't tell if you're doing like Patrick or Sands. <laughs> Patrick. It's Patrick. See, believe it or not, we're a spaceship. It took some real elbow grease to convert this planetoid into a ship, but we almost pulled it off. They don't have elbows. May not look that <laughs> much, but it's home. Yeah. Truth be told, the ship, she's not in such hot shape right now. We ran into that monster too, blasted us from some meteors, and some of my crew were thrown overboard. Yeah. So, that monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That's cold. What? Deep space cold, if you ask me. No reaction. You know what else? You know what else is cold? The monster is stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs on energy from them. Without that, we're stranded here. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Hey, yo, is that <laughs> the young master Luma? Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> it is. Wait, if you have the trust of young Master Luma, hmm, I might just have a little proposition for you. Hear me out. Your special someone got kidnapped, and now you gotta save her, am I right? Mm, the, I illu <laughs> the illusion of choice. Gotta love it. <laughs> yeah, love it. yeah. And the we need fuel for our ship. Now, I think you get some back. Now, if you think you can get some of our stars back for us, I'd be willing to make the ship your very own for a bit. That's a fair exchange. Am I right, Mario? <laughs> All right, it's a deal. I mean, you really can't do anything else, Mario, otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Okay, gang, let's get cracking, yeah? I want everything spaceship shape. 
What what they should have done is done a Super Paper Mario situation where you just yeah, say I was no. Like, no, it's like oh, game over. <laughs> game over. It doesn't even save your progress. You just start over. Yeah. Well, you're not doing it, then you're not playing the game. Yeah. It just, it just it just cuts to Bowser just being like, wait, Mario's not actually gonna like come yeah. here. All right. Well, what do you think? Nice spaceship, yeah. More like a face ship. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! Well, at least I'll never lose it in the parking lot. Am I right? <laughs> hey, mm -mm. So what's next? Look at me. Oh, wait, this ship has your face on it, not mine. Wait, they said car park. Yeah, they said car yeah, park. Feel free to explore this. Feel free to explore the Starship Mario or take the helm if you're ready. What? It's your call, Captain. Are these parking lots? <laughs> uh, yeah, we tend to just call them. Car parks, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it that much. Um, okay, but for a uh, cool little thing, I think this is th these star bits only show up now, but issue. Uh, wait. Are they? No? Am I a liar? No, I you might just be wrong. Uh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there they are. Oh, cool. I might be. I huh? I never know that they're there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they if they um are like there later, but um they yeah, it's a nice little secret, I guess. Oh, mm -hmm. um, so. Jason, I just I, I so I just checked the Fortnite store as of this time. Yeah. This recording, and there and like and and there's and like and there's like a bunch of school care a bunch of school OCs that are completely customizable. No. <laughs> well good thing well good, well good thing I don't care about Fortnite OCs. God. Oh, this is our world map. Yep. There's the also, 2D influence. Yeah. I'll, I'll, also pretty sure this is the only time in the entire game where you hear this song. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Also. 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 Another fun fact: the Starship Mario is a map. It is a board in Fortune Street, and this is a theme that they use. That's a. It's amazing. Hey, don't let good music go to waste. Yeah. 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 Because Fortune Street converted to Dragon Quest MIDI. <laughs> so take that with what you will. Mm. So one of a, a pretty big change from the, the first Galaxy is that. This game uh, only really has like, what is it? At most, it has three three main uh, stars per galaxy. Um, so there's a lot of lot more individual uh, worlds in the game, but there's okay. On one, on one hand, it's like I like that there's more there's more like places uh, to go to, but there are some some galaxies in this game that I feel don't have enough. Um, I don't get used to their full potential. I will definitely see some of that as we go through the game. Um, on the other hand, it it with Galaxy One's approach, you are seeing the same like environment a lot of times. So it's like kind of a double-edged sword. Do you want do you want like all the worlds to be like fully fleshed out and have a lot of levels in them, or do you want um, like more level, like more environments, but some levels? Um, not necessarily, not necessarily get shafted, but some of them I feel like they could have done more with. Hmm. I like the colorful after it when he gets shot out for the launch star. Yeah, that's pretty good. I love this theme, by the way. Um, I don't... I don't know if I'd say I like the soundtrack in this game as much as the first one, but, like, the ones, the, the tracks that I like in this game are, like, some of the best in the series. I'll be right back. Alright. Alright. Good. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's no, um, another difference. The, um... They basically, they basically buffed the, was it, the Octo Goombas? Because... I'm gonna die in level two. This is good. Um, 
Because the Octo Goombas in <laughs> yeah, the Octo Goombas in the original uh ori well first game, you know what I mean. Um, they yeah. only all they did was like just like hit their little what you what you even call that like the the thing on their heads they just whack out you. Their antennas, I think. Yeah. Uh, whereas in the this game they actually throw like chew out rocks, which I feel like I had a conversation about. I had a dream about this conversation. I think. Wait. <laughs> How the conversation go in your dream? <laughs> um, probably I probably woke up before oh, after geez. you laughed. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me that has this issue, but like, I have like the hardest time doing like sidewards somersaults in Galaxy games. So I usually just. Resort. And the assholes begin. Yeah. Well, th this is th th this bit here isn't hard. It's just teaching you how they work. Um. I I never really like realized it until now, but like both Galaxy One and Two like teach you a lot of mechanics like really early on. <laughs> yeah. There's advantages to having comparatively, comparatively less story-heavy games. Yeah, like I said, this game just gets right into right into things. Um, I think I don't know if it's just placebo, but like it feels like there's a bit more flow with the uh, with how Mario controls in this game. Like it's um it's not much, but it feels like it feels like you. Can flow to give your like jumps and stuff a bit more freely. Um, hmm. It's definitely not like sun 64 or sunshine level, but it's something. Jesus. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I thought you were gonna at least take the hit since you know the star's right there. Hmm. I was worried about getting like launched, uh, like um, hit off the side. Fair enough. Oh, hey Mario. Hello, Mario. <laughs> Wish I could give you more help than just cheer from the sidelines. You know, a friend with another Wurubo can join you, and that, and then one of my co-star Lumas can help out. They can help you take the enemies and get you some extra star bits. So, if you want a partner, don't be shy about asking a friend to jump in. The partner's so important that they actually put it on the logo, so that's yeah. nice, I suppose. Yeah, a partner yeah. It evolved from just being a cursor to being an actual character. Yeah. I do remember... Go on. What? Go on. Oh, well, first off, th this doesn't really do anything special, but... Nice little thing, I guess. Um... So are you basically just, like, killing these Loomers? Or killing these stars? The power of stars with this energy, Harry. Yeah. Um, but, don't, but don't Loomers become power stars, though? I think. Like, so, I mean, some, some, that's one of the things they could turn into. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I think we, I think we are, we are essentially killing them, but they yeah. want to die, so that's good. Yeah, they turn into stars that can turn into, like, <laughs> galaxies or singular planets like yeah you know, kind of messed yeah. up like, yeah yeah that, yeah that, that, that that's why luma lee wanted to die so much so badly in the mario movie because it's literally their life's purpose i i would like if that if that was the reason why they made that luma like a, a complete sadist i i would love to just like shake the writer's hands because that, that's amazing yeah Uh, but yeah, what was it? A big skull. Yeah, right. Uh, what was I gonna say though? Um, yeah, with the whole co-op thing, I remember uh, a friend in high school had like, I think it was like Nintendo Power, I think. And one of the issues. What's that? <laughs> nice. Uh, one of the posts um, talked about how, oh, the Galaxy Two is rumored to have like 
uh, two-player co-op with like Luigi and stuff and say, oh, that sounds amazing. No. It's technically not a lie. <laughs> Luigi is in the game, but you can't do two-player co-op with him. You can do co-op with the first player as Luigi, so technically no lie. <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah. Yoshi. Making his grand return to a 3D Mario platformer after eight. Like after Mario Sunshine. Well, Cheers, we count 64DS. Yeah, I was gonna say 64DS, I, if you wanna count that. Yeah. I, I, I kind of... <laughs> I tend to forget about that game half the time, I'll be honest. Um, I know it has its fans, but yeah. Yeah, you're one of them. <laughs> Am I? I, I? I played quite a bit of Mario 64 as a kid. I mean, Mario 64 DS, I mean. Yeah. I definitely played the mini games way more than I played the actual game, that's for sure. Mm. I um, knew the mini games from uh, um, NSMB DS, so. Ah. Also, I, like, God, I, I really wish this game was ported to the Switch because, yeah, we were talking about, about it earlier, but. Well, that too, but. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, like, my. My setup, setup for the Wii is not really great for, like, the, um, the pointer. So it's, like, you see it, like, constantly, like, disappearing and stuff and, like, going all over the place. Like, that's not me. That, that's just me trying to <laughs> get it to function, like, at all. Um, what could possibly go wrong in the later galaxies? All right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 she's fun. Just so very simple and fun to just like eat people. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't know how to word that. How come Yoshi can't eat the mushrooms? That's a good question. I don't think he wants to. Also, the funny thing, like the Fair. yeah, the um. The, uh, what is it? The bonus areas are like, they're, they're just like, spots on the map that are like, really far away. So it's really, it's funny to just <laughs> grab a star, star bit from that, from those sections, la like last second, and then and like... And then just go back to you. Yeah, it, like, the, the star bit like, warp, like goes through at like, warp speed, it's great. Sorry, did I miss anything? Oh uh, wait, yeah, we're playing with Yoshi. Yo. Yeah, we're playing with... Playing with that guy who avoids- who committed tax fraud. I- <laughs> No one pays taxes in space, Savior. Good. Yeah, Lewis has like a bunch of, um, uh, like fu like, what's it, um, users on his Switch, just so he, he can like, boot something up, and then you just- you, you just see a bunch of Yoshis, and it's just, Yoshi committed tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> So, I knew hell? it. Yeah, there is some. Yoshi, that that is gonna come out very painfully out the other end, Yoshi. Yeah, right. Yeah, there there are some uh, like, uh, what is it? Um, it's like planets and stuff that are like recycled from Galaxy One. Like this is very obviously based off like one from Good Egg Galaxy. Uh, it doesn't do it doesn't do that super often, but it's a uh, you know. You know, it's it sometimes. Alright, I was gonna talk about Co-Star Luma. Galaxy 2's co-op is objectively better than Galaxy 1, the shame we'll never see it for this playthrough. Yeah. I mean, it's a, just a straight-up upgrade. Like, this, you can't really argue against it. Yeah. Um... I don't know if it's too early to ask this, but, um... This... Yes, Harry, I will marry you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, took you long enough to finally pop the question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, uh, first off, there's just random. Okay. Um, there's you're, not just... say, you're not saying no. Why? <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> what, do I, what am I gonna do with you guys? Marry us. 
Yeah, all three of you, yeah. So what are we going to ask? <laughs> Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Don't take me. It's too late. Oh, I don't even know anymore. What was I going to say? Um... <laughs> it's too early to ask, but I was going to like something like that. Oh! No, okay, I know. I, I remember now. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I sh I should have saved this for like a question for later, but um, for like let's do one at a time, please. Um, what um, Gal Galaxy one or two? Galaxy three. Uh, Depends on good. my mood. Good. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wish. I, I wish there honestly, was a Galaxy yeah, three. <laughs> yeah, I, I, honestly, Galaxy two. Okay. Galaxy three. One day, Jason, one day. I wish. Um... Uh, yeah, um, uh, okay, yeah, um, depends on my mood. Galaxy yeah, yeah. 2 for me, I haven't, with the cat, yeah. I have not played Galaxy 1 far long, for far longer, so... My, yeah, my answer sh should be obvious, but I will say this, there are things about Galaxy 1 that I do like more, and I can, I, like, it's one of those things where, like, I, I, I can get it, like, if, if someone would pref if someone preferred Galaxy One, I would totally understand because um, it does have, for lack of a better term, a very magical atmosphere for a Mario game, and it, this this game doesn't really try to go for that again. So, you know. Hmm. I Alien eggs. It's a zoom. <laughs> I mean, from his perspective, it is an alien. Yeah. But yeah, I, I will, I will say this though. I, I think, I like Starship Mario more as a, more as a hub. But I think, as a place, I prefer the observatory. If that makes sense. Yeah. I, same, honestly. Because, like, this place is really small. But I feel like, I feel like that's kind of the point. Like, it's. I feel like there's it's more densely packed with like collectibles and things to do and like I like the that like as you go through the game you have more characters uh, go on your ship and uh, I'll talk more about the world map layout because I that that's a subject that I want to touch on when we've actually seen a couple of worlds at least but um. Yeah, the, the thing with the first galaxy is that, um, like, the Comet Observatory is cool, but there's really no reason to explore it outside of, like, random one-ups. Um, so I appreciate that, like, this game, uh, the, the only reason you'd, like, explore Starship Mario is if you want, like, extra one-ups, like, quickly, or you want to, you know, talk to the characters or whatever. And it doesn't take very long, it's, it, it's not like... You uh, had to spend like a minute or two to get to like the dome you want to like play levels in and stuff. So it's like uh, just kind of cutting the fat. Yeah, I appreciate that. Galaxy Two feels just streamlined in general. Yeah. 